cool. Hey folks, Devin here with Make Anything, and I've got a really quick video for you guys today, but useful for anyone who is 3D printing. So most 3D printer manuals will tell you to always have an eye on your 3D prints. And it makes sense because 3D prints can fail and cause all kinds of mischief. Printers have even been known to catch on fire. So yeah, there's a reason that they say that, but if you're printing anything substantial, it can end up taking many hours, maybe even days. So sitting in front of your printer for four hours to watch a little Pokemon get printed out isn't exactly the best way to spend your day. So today I'm going to show you my technique for remote viewing my prints so that I can be upstairs on my computer and have a little window showing me what's happening down here on my printer. It's actually super simple. All I'm going to use is my old smartphone. It's got a cracked screen and I've had to glue the charger in to keep it charging. But all I really care about is that it has a working camera. And all you have to do is download an app for your phone that turns it into a webcam. There are tons of apps like these for both Apple and Android, but I'm on Android, so I'm going to show you what I use. So I'm going to open up the Google Play Store, and you're going to look for IP webcam. And there are actually a few apps by the same name, but I've been using this first free one right here by Pavel Keblovic. And just go ahead and download that. So yeah, I'll download the video codec or whatever that makes it easy to record. And just like that, I'm now recording you guys. And as you can see, there is this IP number listed at the bottom, um, this URL. And all you have to do is go on your computer and enter that URL, and you'll be able to see exactly what is being shown on this web camera. Alright, so on this old phone, my back camera actually doesn't work, so I use the front camera. But basically, I have it streaming right now, just by doing what I showed you. And all I'm going to do is plug this into a charger that I have near my printer. Because if I'm printing for many, many hours, I don't want to have to worry about the battery running out. So I just have this constantly plugged in. And now it's streaming. All I need is a way to point it at my print, and I'm pretty much set. So as you can imagine, there's tons of different ways to mount your phone and point it towards your printer. But I was recently sent this lazy mount by Easy Axe, and I think it might be one of the easiest ways that you can do this. So basically, this is a giant wire that you can bend however you want. On one side, it holds your phone, and on the other side, there's this giant clamp. So I'm just going to unscrew this and clamp it to the workbench, and then tighten it again. So now I've got my mount on here, and all I have to do is clip in my phone, which is super easy. And then this wire lets you pretty much move the phone wherever you want and it'll stay in place. So I'm just going to place this right up here in the corner, looking straight at my print. So um, yeah, let's start something printing and then we'll go upstairs and see if we can watch it from my computer. Alright, so now I'm upstairs in my room and I'm going to go on my browser and type in that same address that was on the app. So that series of numbers. And that'll open up this uh, interface here. And all you have to do is select from one of these video renderers. So Flash works the fastest, I think. And it'll give you video and even sound if you want. So there you go. Just like that, I now have a live feed of my printer. And I can just uh, have that running while I do whatever else I want to do. It's pretty cool. I can even open that up on the browser on my new phone and watch my print from there. So. That's pretty awesome that there are free applications out there that let me watch my prints remotely. Alright guys, that's it for this episode. If you own a 3D printer, I hope this was really useful because I've gotten a lot of use out of remote viewing my prints. It's helped me catch things that were going wrong or just let me see when my prints are done without me actually having to come down and check on my prints. So it saves time, it saves filament, it's super awesome. So IP Webcam is the app, I'll put a link for that in the description. And I'll also put a link for this lazy mount in the description because it's super awesome for being able to hold your phone however you want. I'll probably use it to hold my GoPro and get some really cool angles for my time lapse shots. And I also just use it to hold my phone when I'm filming other things with my phone. So it's a pretty useful thing overall. Anyways, that's it for this episode. Hope I'll see you next time. I'm Devin. This has been Make Anything. Stay inspired. <laughs>